Hello everyone, welcome back. And I'm gonna quickly go through the supply list here and I'll also leave it in the description below in case I leave anything out. First and foremost, you're gonna need a chopstick or anything you can pretty much use a straw if you can enforce it enough, roll up some paper, but I use a chopstick here. And then the wire is 22 gauge solid. Chopsticks I bought online, the wire I bought in a local store because it was cheaper to go this way. This is a, a hundred foot of this 22 gauge solid wire. This stuff here around is electrical tape. So most people have it laying around. Uh, I found it handy to cut it in half. I, I don't know if I'd suggest buying thinner ones when you can just cut it in half. Uh, if you want to get extra fancy, yeah, what I'm probably gonna do with this one is use uh, this, which is heat shrink. Then the other thing I needed, well, I didn't really need, but it was suggested I use a resistor. So that's a 150 ohm resistor. There's ones you can calculate what size you need, but basically I have a three volt LED, a six volt battery. So the math worked out to needing a 150 ohm resistor and a button. Uh, that one there is a six by six millimeter by 4.5 millimeter, which is the height button. And that's what I have at the end right here. And you can't even see where the resistor's at, but it's under here. The battery I use is a four LR44 battery. I got these super cheap online, um, as well as the resistor and the buttons. Like I got 150 of these buttons for super cheap. And I got a pack of like a bunch of different types of resistors for cheap, like under 10 bucks each. And I got 20 of these for, I think about eight bucks. So yeah, I need to make a bunch of them. So that came in handy. Yeah. So then, then you can see that they're about, they are smaller than this battery here, but they're about half the size. I don't know if that's, maybe that's double A size or triple A. Huh. All right. Then you're gonna need some LEDs. I just bought a multicolor pack so I can use it for other projects as well. Yeah. I also bought some copper clamps. So these came in handy for when soldering because, oh yeah, so I'll get to the tools afterwards, but basically these you can clamp on to the base of the light when you're soldering and it'll kind of act like a heat sink so you don't burn out the light when you're working on your project. And I guess that's it for supplies and then oh, also solder. This is what I happen to use. I honestly don't know the difference. I haven't been doing this in long enough, but there we go. So this is the type I'm using. It's a lead free type and there's a, the specs. And then of course you need a soldering iron. So apparently you can use the uh, 15 watt one and it's a lot easier to work with around like uh, delicate electronics like LEDs, but I bought a variable one. Uh, you can probably also get away with a 30 watt one when you're using this heat sink. And wire strippers, uh, you also don't have to go that fancy, but these are 10 bucks at the local store. So I figured I'd pick these up. And then it's handy to have some uh, needle nose pliers I just use the ones in my fishing box, uh, pretty much anything with a thin connection. You probably use, mm, I don't know about tweezers, but, uh, the only thing I didn't like about these, is these are locking ones. Uh, so they kind of got in the way, but you usually can make do. And I believe that is it. So that's the, uh, ingredient list, I guess you can call it or uh supply list. There you go. So this is the supply list and if I leave anything out, I will make sure to include it in the description below and you'll see what we need in the next videos. All right, see you then.